I'm Marcus Nielsen, one of the co-founders of Steelrist and also the CTO for the company, heading the development department. We're standing here with a, and launching our new tilt rotator, the XTR20, a third generation tilt rotator. And we have got a lot of customer feedback over the 19, 20 years the company has been existing. And we have taken a lot of feedback in from our customers, but also we have one of the drives that we are an innovative company. We, I would say we are the most innovative company in this business. We always bring new stuff to the industry. We have the lock sense, we have the OptiLube. We were the first steel casting units to save weight and to do everything perfect for the operator. We always try to optimize the geometries for a specific size of machines. And that's, I think we have always been standing in the forefront for technology development in the tilt rotator market. It's new from the bottom up. Everything is steel casted. It has a better tilt geometry, better strength in rotation. It has OptiLube, which is an onboard greasing solution. It has LockSense, which is a new safety feature. So it's a radio-based safety feature for attachments, so we can securely lock them to the tilt rotator. So we have a lot of new features going on in this product. We have worked with the new parts. All the bearings in this unit are one-time lubricated. So the only thing that we grease is the gearbox. And the gearbox itself is, is lubricated with a specific uh, lubrication that we have developed to just suit our product with the high loads that we have in our products. So all the other bearings and joints, they are self-lubricated. We don't need any lubrication during the lifetime. The OptiLube, that is an onboard lubrication system, it has a six month uh, lifespan before you have to change the cartridge. Uh, we also have a new gripper on the, the XR20. It's more compactly built. It has an angle going downwards, so we get a better reach the three-finger gripper, totally slimmed to the unit, really, really tight, uh, really appreciated by the first users. For us, safety is, of course, very, very important. We, we were the first in the industry to actually have a solution on our tilt rotates and quick couplers that securely attach attachments if the driver, by mistake, didn't connect attachments on the correct way. So we call that front wheel lock. It was totally independent of other systems. And now we come with this new lock sense system, which is the follow-up of front wheel lock. This is also totally machine independent. We don't need anything that integrates to the machine. It's a radio device in the locking wedges, which actually attach the attachment or the work tools to the quick couplers. And it's a redundant system, which is totally new. There's no cables, nothing can go wrong in this system. Our no products, as most of our products are totally steel casted. We do a lot of steel castings. That's our core value for technology because we have a very strong structure and a lightweight structure. So it's the best combination of strength and weight we can achieve. And it's also nice looking, of course, but uh, that's an extra feature. So one important feature is to actually have integration to machine control systems. So we, with our attachments, we can rotate and tilt them so much. So we need to know where they are in space. So we have new integrated sensors, absolute sensors for both tilt position and the rotation position on the new series of tilt rotators. We are very keen on uh, the open standards for connecting work tools. The new is of course open as compliant. It's totally interchangeable between uh, different work tools from different manufacturers. And another feature that we brought into this product is that it's very modular. So if you have decided when you started using the product that no, I don't want a fully automatic quick couple system, it's really easy to upgrade it both on the top side and the bottom side to get the full SQ which is then compatible with the OpenS fully automatic standard. Before the launch, we had, a, had the units out in the test field for two years. We have had our regular users been trying out the product. We have offered them to test the new XTR20 instead of their ordered X, X20. And 
all of the test drivers so far has wanted to keep the new generation because it's, they think it's more robust, it's much sturdier, it has this new gripper, the onboard lubrication, so it's less maintenance. So it's a really, really good feedback so far for the product. Since we actually showed the product for the first time and also over the long test period we had before that, we have only received positive feedback for this new product. So we are really excited to expand this product portfolio going forward up and down in, on our total range of tilt rotators.